And the next man is a Welshman, Taylor Vernon. Yeah, boy. From down on the south coast. Used to be teammates with us on our uh, Athen Academy, growing up through the ranks. From Bridge End then, yep. Yeah. And what a rider, Taylor Vernon is actually winning his first BDS, British Downhill Series race this year. He's such a skilled rider, oh. but so kind of underrated. That's right. He had it when he rode on our team as a junior, he had a massive crash, broke his back really no. badly. Oh, sounds terrible as they go in there, a second back for him at the first split. And Tay rides a lot of motocross down there in South Wales, so he'll be feeling pretty comfortable on these big jumps. Strong as well. If that's possible. That's right. <laughs> well, only half a second. Back from Ronan Dunn then, with the second split on top for Taylor Vernon, hits the big step up. Nicely over this. Perfect. Perfect landing. Whoa. The AC ride is speed tucking as fast as they can go into, into jumps very often. Had a top 20 in Lord at the first World Cup of the year. Gets up onto that rock. Riders avoided that yesterday, actually, so definitely drier than it was. Yeah, it's drying out, and often the wind, you know, blowing on yeah. the track, it does help dry it out, though it's not great for the jumps. And remember this step down there? I mean, we don't even talk about yeah. it now. It used to be the biggest thing, but he's pulled some time back. So is, Vernon, good one. back to within point three now. So he's closing in on Ronan Dunn. This is incredible oh, from the Welshman. The case there. The case on, that hey. big pull. Yeah. Safely over the second one. Wow. Oh. You do not want to be tagging these jumps. And there's no time to stop. If you've changed your mind between those two, you, you're not going to stop in time. Oh. No, the, the intensity commitment. ramps up. It's straight from Full one commitment. feature, straight into a technical section or another one. This one of the hardest parts of the oh, track. Oh, that was perfect round there, easing it round. Oh, that was nice, a Vernon, bit of a wheelie. He was sensible, really took his time to make sure he was online there. Slow in, fast out. Whoa. You see the G-forces in that, yeah. cor in that yeah. corner. And now comes one of the nastiest drops on this track. This almost a flat landing off this one. They've built it up a little bit this year. It's better than it was. And Still the bike's head banger. just taking it. Oh, look at that then! So just 53 thousandths off now for Taylor Vernon. That's nothing, isn't Can it? Can he pull that back? Ooh. He'll have to stay off the brakes all the way down here now. Let it run around this big last left-hander. And whether uh, Ronan had a bit of a problem in this, this last bit might make the, all the time difference. So Taylor Vernon, is he going to be red or is he going to be green? Big pull for that last jump. Vernon sprints to the line. It goes fastest oh, wow. by point one. That was a Incredible. Run. Wow, wow, wow. And he's so good at racing, but there's those nerves. So That's I think right. the hard yeah. line suits him as an event. A bit more relaxed, you know, you can take his time. Well, always has done better domestically, actually, than abroad at the World Cup races from Kerzus about an hour ago. Riding for Vitas Bikes then. Joe Smith on course. And how's he going to tackle this rock section at the top? Straight down to that catch berm. Oh, that was perfect. And he's up. Fastest Look at that, boy. Just two thousandths of a second then. Yeah, that was the fastest, like, real direct, no faffing around. Just yeah, solid. I don't think I'd be messing about that. Looked like the line to me. Takes any or most of the risk out of it. Down towards the cannon. 55, oh. 63 through the air. Now extending to quarter of a second into the green nearly. Oh, it's so big, that ramp. It doesn't, it doesn't look it on here. Off the oh, oh, big nodder. head nodder. Yeah. And as soon as they land, they're hard on the brakes. This turn is really important to, you know, scrub the speed, but not too much. He's coming into that section he crashed a few years ago. Yeah, he definitely is. This is it where we just saw him go down in that VT, run about here. He's made it through this year, no problem then. Down into what used to be called the Dirty Fern section. His family will be watching at the bottom. Hearts oh, in Oh, straight mouths. across there as well on the on-off. Oh, he's past this section. Yeah, yeah there, he, there is. he goes on that second big double. No worries for Joe Absolutely Smith then. Perfect. The next split's oh. going to be interesting. You can hear the crowd like ooh, whistling just how fast the riders are hitting that flat turn. And we're not seeing it, but I bet they're in a, a hell of a shape around yeah. there. Yeah, Keeping yeah. it on the, on the edge of the tyres. Fast down there as well for Smith. That was like, absolutely perfect. Absolutely clean through there, and off this road gap he goes. What's the next split time going to tell us? Hasn't put a wheel wrong from what I've seen of it so far. No, just been sort of main line and just, you know, just 
not not doing anything fancy. No, but carrying good speed, good pace down here. That's a hit, that is. Off the brakes, oh, look at it. Just four thousandths of a second then for Joe Nothing Smith. Neck and neck with Taylor Burden as he comes onto this last straight. Got to carry his speed around this turn, like you said, all the way to the finish line. Gets a couple of pedal strokes in there. Bars it out, now much more he can do. Go on, Jay. Pumps there as well. Last double for Joe Smith. What's it going to be, red or green? Smith sprints the line. And the clock doesn't stop. Fastest. He goes fastest by 0 0.041. Wow. Oh, incredible for Joe Smith. Well, that's tight racing we're seeing here. It really is. We thought it would be. Just seeing him on his bike, you can tell how comfortable he is. That's right. Riding. And in qualifying, came down earlier when it was a little wetter. So let's see what oh. Jackson Goldstone then from Squamish in Canada can do here this afternoon. He's put that rut back nicely in the turn. Yeah, he's the big dark horse here. Well, fast in there and up by half a second at split number one then for Goldstone. And like he said, he's light. He's he's quite a small guy. He's so young, isn't he? But he's carrying like great speed and not getting stuck in the Oh, look at the pace into that left. The first time here at Red Bull Hardline, the first man up by nearly a second. And the first rider to do a full run of this course on Friday night. Yeah. Whips hard off there. Every, Perfect. Every jump he looks, he just styled it up so yesterday. So incredible. I thought he was crashing. He was doing a whip <laughs> in qualifying. <laughs> and you just see how he rides. Like He's literally grown up yep. on a bike. Riding for the Santa Cruz Syndicate. Steve Pete's here as well this weekend. Works closely with Jackson. The grandfather. Look at the pace of him through there. Surely he's going to extend it again. Three seconds into wow. the green now then. It's massive run from Jackson Goldstone. But remember that Joe Smith leading at the moment is five seconds off that fastest qualifier. Wow. Leading off that first big double. Massive. Surely it'll just gain time. All the way down. Oh, the pace is hot. Oh, gapped into that burn. That was unreal. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, but it, you can see it's getting looser and looser. But look how quick he's linking these turns. Attacking. I feel like this is his ideal track. Yeah. The big, massive jumps. He's so comfortable on those big jumps. That was that was fast. And I feel like sometimes being short, like being small, your bike's smaller and your bike fits in the turns and stuff better. Yeah. yeah. Like a big guy like you Whoa. or Steve, your bike wouldn't be halfway around that by now. No, that's right. A little dab there. Coming up towards the last split now. And oh, look at the pace. I haven't seen anyone going there that hot. Whoa. He bounced off the top of that and he's five and a half seconds up then. So this is massive from Jackson Goldstone. Just this last straight to go. And his first time ever at Hardline. It's like, unbelievable. He's learning it all first time. A course that looks like it's tailor made for this man to show us. These sublime skills, Goldstone. Yeah. He's going to go fastest by a massive margin. Goldstone across the line. Look oh. at the time. 220.5. Six and yeah. a half seconds wow. up. Yeah. And that is the fastest time of the weekend here. Goldstone delivers a Red Bull hard line. What a run. What a run. Oh, he's buzzing.